Uh, me and Shaq have been uh, texting each other recently. Oh, good, yeah. And, um, you know, he's been sending me some of his freestyles and everything else like that. You saw Shaq dunk on Yao Ming. Yeah. No, I wasn't playing that. No. I wasn't playing when he did it, but I watched it. It was 2001 yeah. when he did it. I was, I, I was, let me tell you, I don't know if I told the story about Yao Ming, but one, I've, I've only seen a player that big in, I had Chuck Nevin on my team who was 7'4", and I had Manute Bo. Tall, you're, skinny. You're how, how, how tall I'm, again? I'm seven foot, seven six, foot. eleven, three quarters. You're seven. This guy's 7'4". Seven, 7'4". Four. Seven, four. And Yao Ming is? 7'6". Seven, seven, yeah. The picture and of 350 Shaq, pounds. Yeah. Shaq and Yao Ming next to each other looks so crazy. Right, because he's taller than Shaq. Exactly. Way, way taller, right? Yeah. He's seven inches taller. Yeesh. And he's, at that time, maybe 15 pounds heavier. Yeah. So I couldn't imagine playing against Yao. Because I remember when uh, you would go in on a big guy who was just 6'11". But were you playing in the league when Yao? Yao was not. I, was Yao there, was came in the league. He was in the league, but I never got to play. You never got to play against When him. I came back, I, my job was to sit there, and I had the best job in the NBA, bro. When you were on the Lakers, I tell people, my, my job on the Lakers, I, I, I've, I've had great jobs. The best damn sports show was my f- best favorite job ever. Mm. But playing on the Lakers is number two. And I know some people go, you're stupid because playing the NBA is better. Playing on the Lakers was number two. Because all I had to do, and Shaq. hang out with Shaq, Kobe, <laughs> play against Shaq a couple of times in practice, shoot foul shots with him, stay in shape. And we, it, that, was, that was it. And then somebody's going to say, that's all they all should do. They should. Well, how much all game play. time would you have in a typical Every game? five games. Every five games you'd every play five for games, how Phil, long? Phil go get taped. <laughs> because everything with Phil is, is, is calendared. Okay. So he knows when to give a guy a break, when not to give a guy a break, when to push him. He, that, whole, that whole schedule is already jotted out. So he was like, every five games, I'm, I'm going to play you. I go, you got Travis over there. He goes, every five games. <laughs> oh, you didn't want to play. I'm going to play you. And I'm like, okay, all right. He goes, I don't know, 15. I said, oh, 15 minutes? Hell yeah. Okay. Well, you just got back from filming Bad Boys 4. Bad Boys 4. With Will Smith. And Martin Lawrence. And Martin it's Lawrence. a great script. Okay. When I And I got to be in the table read. And uh, I got to spend time with my friend Will Smith. Yeah. And uh, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy for Will. Did he uh, slap anyone on set or? No. No? Okay. But he, but, <laughs> you know, and people always tell me, like, my, my family would tell you, I tell them, they go, what's going to happen? I said, the next time I get $50 million, I'm disappearing for 90 days. I tell you I'm going to be in India. And I, I said, but that's it. No one's coming to visit me. I said, and I said, if you don't believe me, I don't care who dies within that 90 days. <laughs> that 90 days is my 90 days outside the matrix. I'll come back in after the 90 days. Well, after Will did his smack, Will got to travel. Will got to step outside of mm-hmm. all of this stuff. Yeah. And when he's back, he was like, I am, he said, Best rest he's ever gotten. Best time he got to sit back and look at things. Uh, We share books and gave me a great book called Awareness. And it has definitely changed my way of thinking too. Um, When you start realizing every, everything that happens, uh, it's like the butterfly effect, effect. Everything is, it ripples down to something else. And it was, him having to get out of it. I I always look at it when I watch the smack. It seemed like he didn't want to do it, but he is already committed. Because he was leaning back like uh, like he was fighting. Something. Okay. <laughs> All right. But if I, you say I, so. I, but what I did is, one, um, I felt really bad for Chris Rock. Well, did you watch the stand-up special that Chris Rock did? Yeah, since Chris was angry. Interview? Oh, yeah. He called Will and Jada a bitch. Right. He was angry. Of course and, he was. And, Which and is understandable. Understandable. Because, okay, listen, it's one thing to be assaulted. It's another thing to be assault, assaulted on 
international television on the biggest stage in the world that particular night. That particular night, he was on the biggest stage on the planet. Right. And I think Chris handled it better than it. one. It was wasn't the right wasn't the right thing to do. But Chris catching it back, saying whatever, keeping his hands where he were and saying, wow, Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me. This is the greatest night in television. OK. And then reading it. And then when when they come up, he's like, mm. like, all right, you got me. Didn't affect me. Mm-hmm. I think that was I think that was big. I think Will apologized, and I think um, uh, it's never going to be totally fixed unless Chris can slap him back, and that's not going to happen. And so we you don't have think so? To, no. You don't think Will would be like, hey, listen, let's get together. You can slap me back, and then we can hug it out afterwards. Nope. Nope. <laughs> that's just not Will Smith, huh? No, and not that it's not Will Smith. It's not needed. You can't. You're not going to change the first man. It's it's like right because it's not public and it's whatever. like killing somebody who kills somebody. You're not going to bring either that first soul person back. back. Okay, I see. What you're so saying. It, yeah. it's it's done, and we have to move on from here. But I take my hat off to Chris Rock. Did an unbelievable job on composure and and being humble. And I think um, I think the blessing is will uh, people got to see that he was human. I mean, look, Emancipation was a great movie. And if he doesn't smack, he gets another award this year. <laughs> well, he won't be able to, to show up right. and accept it. But no, they can't even nominate him because he's out of the Academy. But Oh, he can't even be nominated? No. But that's cool, oh, too. okay. Because well, now you can just make movies because you love to make movies. Well, he already has one, one Oscar already. Yeah. And, you know. It's like if Charles Barkley had one championship ring, nobody would say anything more. <laughs> <laughs> he can come behind the velvet rope. Well, yeah, I mean, neither does uh, Allen Iverson. And yet, yeah, I saw that list on the guys who don't have championship rings. That doesn't mean they're not winners. It just means they're not champions. Well, they weren't on the right team. They, they, they didn't have the right, you know, this is not boxing. Charles had two chances. Well, Charles had one, two really good chances. He did. Yeah. He had a great chance in Phoenix. He just ran into this guy named Michael Jordan. Yeah. 